Thomas with you, rabbit and a log, our feast here tonight. Good old song. This is by request, by the way. Somebody wanted me to do that old tune. Going to show you a little bit how you can do this old tune. What I'm doing you here is uh, showing you how you can have fun with your instrument. You don't have to be an Earl Scruggs or a Grandpa Jones or a Dave Macon. You don't have to do all, all that other stuff like, you know, the three finger, which is great, and the style that they played, which is great. Develop your own style, develop your own skills, and have fun with your instruments. And that way you will achieve your own identity. And the main thing is learning how to strum and learning how to keep time and learning your basic chords, and the rest of it will fall in place for you. That old song, Rabbit in the Log, just a simple old song. I'm going to go over a procedure here that shows you a little bit about it. Make sure your banjo is in the standard G tuning. Make sure it's in the G tuning and just watch, and, and I'm going to go over this slow and easy with you. Rabbit in the Log, I don't got my dog. Bad situation if you're a mountain man. Anyway, here we go. Calling out the chords in the standard G. Open is G. One, two, three, four, five down. Bar it right there, you got yourself a C. Two more down. Bar it right there, you got yourself a D. There you got your G, C, D. Easy as one, two, three. I'm a poet and don't know it. <laughs> but anyway, rabbit in the log. Well, there's a rabbit in the log. easy slow it down real slow calling out the chords G G G G G G G and a D G G G G G down D here's your chorus oh 
Slow and easy. Feast here tonight, a rabbit in a log. There's a rabbit in the log, and I ain't got my dog. How will I get him out of RGD? I'll get me a brawler and twist in his fur. That's how you should be. I know, and there you see coming on your court. I know, yes, I know, back to your team. That's how I get him ID. Gee, I'll get me a brawler and twist in his fur. That's how I'll be. I know, slow and easy. There's a rabbit in the long and I ain't got my dog. How will I get him I know? I'll get me a brawler and twist in his fur. That's how I'll That's how I'll get him, I know. I'll get me a brawler and twist in his fur. That's how I'll get him, I know. G, D, and C there. Sample rabbit in a log. Take your time. Go slow and easy with it. And just like I said a while ago, you don't have to be an Earl Scruggs. Earl was great. I loved Earl Scruggs. Grandpa Jones, I loved them all. But develop your own skills. Develop your own way of playing. The main thing is learning the chords and learning your timing. Having fun with your instrument. That's what it's all about. And you will you will get better as time goes by. The more you practice and the more you watch the videos. And, uh, and jam sessions. Go to these jam sessions. I'm telling you, you can have a lot of fun uh, with jam sessions. You'll find a lot of nice people at jam sessions. Some people know how to play real good. And some will probably be in, in a an amateur type level like yourself or whatever you know that you can find a lot of good friends and have lots of fun highly recommend jam sessions somebody also emailed me want to know about the high notes on the on the banjo okay we're going to show you the high g down the neck or up the neck whichever way you prefer we're going from the headstock down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you go all the way down to your 12th fret that's 12 frets you bar it right here, you got that high G. You take that bar there and bar your G. Go around to your third finger and you go two more down on that first string and you can get this effect. That's a high G note that fits into good backup, but good backup banjo. Go on up to your C chord. Same way. Bar it right on your C. Got that same effect. That's a backup note. Go down to your D. It's easy. Just with that third finger, you make your bar C down two frets, and you got it. On and off. Rabbit in a log. There's a rabbit in a log, and I ain't got my dog. sending me some email folks and suggesting these old tunes. I hadn't thought about that old song in a coon's age, that rabbit and the log feature. I love to hear that song. I used to hear String Bean do it and the Stanley Brothers, they had a good version of it. And Grandpa Jones and I think Earl Scruggs even had an instrumental version of it. God bless all them good banjo players. Not to sound negative toward anybody. Everybody's got their own way of playing. That's what I'm trying to establish with you guys. Figuring your own way out, having fun with your instruments and having a good time. Email me anytime. I'm always glad to hear from you. 
I've got some up and coming events where I'm going to be doing some uh, workshops about the first of the year. One being Wildlife Wilderness Week in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. You can check them out on MyPigeonForge.com and I'll be there the whole week. I believe it starts on the 12th of January if I'm correct. And I'll be there seven days. If you can come and see me, I'll be glad to teach you banjo right there live and in person. Now, all it costs is it's free to the public. It'll be at the Music Road Hotel. All it'll cost you is to stay overnight at some of the places up there, and they got plenty of them, and the rates are low that time of the year. It's called the Winter's Fest. God bless. We'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.